It's one of those weird weather days, isn't it? Uh, welcome guys to our night of the month of July. Um, it's a bittersweet day today, it's a bit grey, it's a bit gloomy. And we're going to be saying goodbye to one of Bombay's best galleries uh, since the past decade. Uh, Gallery Mascara. It's their final show opening today and uh, yeah, I'm going to take you guys in. going to hopefully be able to get you guys to talk to Abhay and have him tell you a little bit of what he's thought of his journey throughout the years. I hope it happens. Uh, it's going to be a very busy day for him obviously and I wouldn't want to bother him too much. Uh, we're also going to be going to Chatterjee and Lal where there is an opening of a show by Ral and Kogra. Again, big fans of their work. Great, great stuff. Uh, there will be a lot of people on the hop there, I hope. So, yeah, let's see. It's our time Thursday. There's going to be a lot of people jumping about and it's been a while since we've all been at Chatterjee and Lal. So, we're looking forward to that. I'm um, just waiting for my cab right now and yeah, should be on my way even shortly. I have a meeting first, which I won't be able to film, but I will get to show you guys a little bit of the, uh, the offices of Liquid Asia, where uh, one of my students' parents works and she's a friend of mine now, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. And yeah, there's an airplane landing out there, as you can see it in the background. So, off we go. When you go to some places, you get some really cool stuff in your plates and your dishes and everything. This is what Mama Goto gives me for being a valued customer. It's a food coma recovery kit and I think it's absolutely mental how cool this is. There's old phantom cigarettes which are actually sweets, there's matchbox, there's uh, coffee beans, there's a cup of tea in a test tube. There's a sleeping mask, there's uh, lemongrass oil, which is a fragrance. Uh, there's a dropper for it, there's pencils, there's a little notebook. There's so much cool stuff. If you guys are ever in Bombay, make sure you get to Mama Goto. If you're in Delhi, get to Mama Goto. They will treat you well. Their food is fantastic and, I mean, who does this? This is so cool. This is just so ridiculously cool. You guys have to come and get some. It's magnificent. Thank you very, very much, Mama Goto. And I'm going to be tweeting to you guys immediately with a little picture of this. So, thank you. I've already visited Gallery Beyond to see uh, the show Point and Line to Plane. Uh, this is Shiv. He is holding my umbrella while it's drizzling. And so we're not opening it right now. Uh, just to get a little bit into the spirit of things. Um, technically, I shouldn't be vlogging while walking across the road, but since it's a red signal, I can do that. And so I'm being safe. Uh, but you guys shouldn't. Uh, on another note, the show that we just saw was really, really nice. I couldn't show you anything in there because we technically aren't allowed to uh, film in that gallery. And also, I was catching up with a couple of friends, so I just wanted to keep that to myself. But we are now off to uh, Chatterjee and Lal. It's a little bit of a walk. But it will be fun in this weather because it's not hot, it's barely drizzling and there's a nice breeze blowing every now and again just to put, like, pep us up. So yeah, uh, I will see you guys at my gallery, Chatterjee and Lal and show you guys what's happening there. Welcome to uh, Chatterjee and Lal where a fabulous, fabulous show is underway. It's a very interactive two-day show. 
um, it's called the Memoir Bar. Uh, it's by Tukral and Tagra, and it's in uh, combination with Bharat Flooring and Tiles. Uh, these guys are doing something really good, something really fantastic, where they're incorporating people's memories uh, and turning them into tiles like these. Uh, and, they, and they're doing it right in front of you, so it's absolutely fabulous, where you get to see your memories being turned into a little tile, a little block, and gets preserved uh, forevermore. Uh, they've got lovely shelves that they're going to be filling up at the back over there. And uh, hopefully, if they get some time off, I'll be able to get you to talk to them and see what they're up to and where the whole idea came from. So, yeah, let's take a walk around. Let's take a look at everything. There's some really cute uh, styles of painting that have been involved here. They tell little stories by themselves. And they're absolutely fantastic in the way they've been hung up and placed up. Steve is here as well. Steve is on an art hop with us after a really, really long time, so I'm glad that he's here. Um, you work in my Shiv. And uh, Atul will also be joining us to take part in this little exercise of sharing our memories and our dreams with uh, pretty much everyone around us. So I'm going to now walk you through the instructions over here that they've got really easily laid out, where you pick up a memory card and write your memories down. Um, you mark two emotions, separate the perforate bottom, which is down here. I think what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to actually write one of these out uh, in front of you so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, now, there's a memory of mine that I really, really love, which was uh, watching airplanes take off from the top of my terrace. Because I used to do this uh, as a kid. And uh, there was a time when uh, one of the pilots on a British Airways flight actually flew down really, really low to the point where we could actually wave out to him, me and my sister, and he actually waved back, which was a stunning, stunning, happy memory. So I think I'm going to put that down. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the process from here out. I don't know, I'm not in touch with There we go, we've got a little memory done, uh, we're going to do happy, we're going to do excited. Now, very responsibly, we're going to close the pen up, we're going to take our little sheet of paper, and we are now going to get it shredded and turned into a little tile. So let's go talk to these guys and see where it's to be done. Okay, so we've artifacts and yeah. art and everything, and then they uh, put it in the ground. Absolutely, for, for people it's like, like a time capsule. Hard time capsule, correct? So we've got so our little a... memory shredded now. Uh, I'm just gonna check. Uh, should I shred this more? <laughs> so you should have put it here. It would have shred more. That's okay. We'll check See now. This. In, and what we're gonna do now is we're going to mix this. We're gonna stir it up really nicely. I'm gonna need both hands. So Steve, will you do the honors of filming as I do this? Hello. How are you, man? Good. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Now, as you guys can see, this is starting to harden already a little bit. It's starting to a bit of a paste. Thoda aur, thoda aur dal. We're going to have to thoda aur pani lagta. Push it around a little bit more. Fold it up and down. Oh boy. It's got a nice pasty consistency now. It's starting to look a bit like a food show if I can if I'm gonna keep talking like this, but I know you guys are gonna enjoy looking at this. I love the color of this little paste. It's absolutely fantastic. It's 
You'll have to do this one also. And now we've got the other color. Now I've chosen happy and excited. So these are the two colors I think that they've associated with uh, these two. I think we're mixing it up a little bit and changing the colors around and getting something interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to give it a for this. Yeah, I think we've got a nice consistency going mm -hmm. over here. So this looks like it's about done. And uh, you can make it. across to the shelf right over there so we get everything sorted and put up I'm gonna come all the way around and show you guys where it is and here we go this is where the tile is this is what it's going to end up looking like uh, by the end of it it's gonna look pretty much like whatever's on the walls over there so we've got a bunch of other people who've put their memories in here as well we've got a lot of different colors and mixtures something that well is a little bit for everyone now. So I'm glad to be a part of this. I'm glad that everyone's getting a little bit uh, into it. They've got a lot of their memories in, uh, their emotions, their feelings, and it's going to be something permanent for the rest of time now. So, yay! <laughs> Happiness! It's like a time capsule thing. And it's in cement, so we did it supposedly. That's the other one. Who is uh, the owner and gallerist at Chatterjee and Lal? He is a wonderful, wonderful human being. If you haven't come here and spoken to him, you should. He's got immense knowledge about art, untouchable, seriously. Uh, the gallery itself, as you've seen already, is a really, really lovely space, always being reinvented with a lot of new art, different styles, different ideas. And today we're going to be talking to Mort about this show and why it's here and what he is thinking of it. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, welcome everyone. Um, so you are at our exhibition by Tukram Tagore. It's a two-day pilot project for a show that eventually will have a larger Aftar in Dubai in October this year. Um, 
basically you're coming here to make a memory tile. So the idea is that you're going to be encouraged to mix your memories with cement, with a mold, which will end up as a unique artwork, which will then take its place amongst hundreds of others and will build a, become a library of memories. Um, and in addition, we have also unique artworks by the artist of Bernadette, where they have painted in acrylics directly onto the tiles. Um, and the whole gallery, in a sense, has then become a memory bar. So that's the basic concept behind what we're seeing here. It's an experiment, and we're trying to encourage our guests to get involved, participate, make these uh, memory tiles. And so far, it looks great. It looks like people are really getting into it and enjoying it. So, enjoy. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. That was more strategy. Uh, you guys definitely should come and check this place out. It's located in Kolaba in Mumbai's uh, south end. Um, it's near the Gateway of India uh, and the Radio Club, so you're definitely not going to be able to get lost finding the place. If you have any questions, you know how to get in touch with me on social media. My links will be in the description. So, hook me up. We'll sort you out. See you soon. This is our last time coming to an opening at Gallery Mascara uh, for a show curated by Abhay. Uh, this is one last look at this space, Atul Moon. This is a somber moment, stop behaving like a complete ass. No, but uh, all right, all right. it's a good time to celebrate because this has been a fantastic gallery. It's been one of the most amazing spaces in the city to visit and to experience art in. It's taught me a lot and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the show. Bye-bye. The uh, gallery mascara right now. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, the artwork behind me right now is by T. Venkala, the artist who uh, inspired me to learn uh, printmaking and to create artworks, one of which I just given by. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's a place that has a lot of memories for me. The fact that the show deals with uh, the idea of time is incredible because it's been 10 years of moving through time, through space, and uh, sort of figuring out where art is, where it goes and where we've come from and what we're going to be doing in the future. It's a fantastic look at what the whole thing is about and uh, Muscara has been an icon in that sense. It's been something that's sort of taken us along the journey and shown us a lot of things throughout. So, I'm glad.